Some science fiction is useful for explaining the real world. Correct terminology about technology can be quite educational in itself. Cold as Ice by Charles Sheffield uses the term von Neumann machine more than most computer science books, many of which do not use it at all. Almost all computers are von Neumann machines named for the famous mathematician John von Neumann. The devices described in this book are what von Neumann called universal constructors. Such devices do not exist yet, but when they do, they will most likely have the other type of von Neumann machines for brains. We now live in a world of computers. There are now more computers in the United States than there were televisions in 1960. Yet the president of IBM is alleged to have said in 1943, I think there is a world market for maybe five computers. And Popular Mechanics wrote in 1949, Computers in the future may weigh no more than 1.5 tons. The transistor was not invented until December of 1947, so Popular Mechanics had no idea what that technology would do to the entire electronics industry. Nobody did. The first electronic computer was the ENIAC built for the Army to do ballistic calculations. John von Neumann got slightly involved in that project and wrote a paper on an improved computer design. That design became known as the von Neumann machine or von Neumann architecture, and almost all computers follow that basic pattern to this day. The CPU, Central Processing Unit, does all of the work and controls the behavior of the RAM. Random access memory. There are buses connecting the processor to the memory. An address bus, a control bus, and a data bus. The address bus sends signals in one direction only, from the CPU to the address decode circuitry. That decode circuitry selects individual memory locations in the array of memory. Each memory address line can have either a high or low voltage, with each line having two possible states. Every line doubles the number of possible memory locations. So these seven address lines could select 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 128 locations. Modern processors have 32 address lines and can address 4 billion memory locations. The address lines select a location and then the control and data buses determine what to do with that location. Electrical signals can be transferred from CPU to RAM, called a write operation, or from RAM to the CPU, called a read operation. The address bus is unidirectional and the data bus is bidirectional, but the memory needs to be told which direction the data is to move. That is the purpose of the control bus. In this case, the control bus is unidirectional. The CPU contains memory locations called registers. The data that comes in on a read operation can go into a register and can then be written to another memory location on a write operation. The red ball represents data in a memory location. It is in the fourth position, but that is location 3, because the first memory location is 0. 0 would be the result of all address lines turned off. Address lines 0 and 1 are turned on, producing 1 plus 2, which is 3. The read control line is turned on from the CPU, and the data represented by the red ball is sent over the data lines into the CPU. It is stored in a register inside the CPU. But the data is not like some physical object being moved, though some computers call it a move command. The data is actually copied, so identical data is stored in the register and location 3. Address lines 0, 2, and 3 are turned on, and the write control line is activated. This encodes address 1 plus 4 plus 8, which is 13, and the data from the register is written into memory address 13. The random access memory contains millions or billions of memory locations, and millions of read or write operations can be occurring in most modern computers every second. The RAM contains the programs which control what the CPU does and the data which the CPU does things to. The CPU is manipulating symbols according to instructions from a program 
but not even the program understands what the symbols mean. Von Neumann machines are symbol manipulators. They do not understand information, but they can manipulate the symbols far faster than human brains, even though they do not understand them. A computer is more than just memory and CPU, because the programs and data must come from somewhere, and the computed results must go somewhere. This involves various I.O. devices like keyboards and disk drives and printers. This mostly increases the complexity of the control bus with interrupts and direct memory access and weight control lines. But the Von Neumann mechanism is the core, and good explanations are in short supply.